Well, we do have an entrepreneur that has a uh, magnifying technology. There's a company in the co-working space at the CIE called Specs for Menus. In case you leave your reading glasses and you can't read the menu, they have a, a spare pair of magnifying glasses at the table that are sponsored by a company. So we do have an app for that, if you will. So the Coastal Entrepreneur Awards is proud to partner with area chambers and other business support groups for this program. I'd like to tell you about the winners of this year's Chamber Entrepreneur Awards, and we're going to roll right through these. Uh, the Chamber winners should come up and accept their award while I tell the audience more about them. The North Brunswick Chamber of Commerce winner is Atlantic Shores Environmental Services Limited, a small woman-owned company, Atlantic Shores Environmental Services, has been growing with Brunswick County since 2008. Owned by Cheryl Moody, the Leland-based company specializes in various types of environmental consulting, including facilities management, services, natural resources management, wetlands, brownfields, redevelopment, and underground storage tanks. The Wilmington Chamber of Commerce winner is BioStudy Solutions. Established in 2005, BioStudy Solutions specializes in study and has worked with firms on their generic and new drug submissions to regulators. BioStudy Solutions continues to grow locally, hiring a number of students from UNCW, and the firm also completed a number of biostatistical, sorry, uh, and report preparations for various pharmaceutical companies. Please congratulate. BioStudy Solutions. The Southport Oak Island Chamber of Commerce winner is Boo and Ruse. Known for its warm and inviting atmosphere, Boo and Ruse has been a staple along Southport's Howe Street for years. Owned by Penny Watkins, Boo and Ruse has consistently been named one of the best gift shops in Brunswick County, catering to a variety of customers and clients across the region. The Pleasure Island Chamber of Commerce winner is Lazy Pirate. A longtime anchor along Carolina Beach's main drag, the Lazy Pirate has played host to Summer Fun for more than 15 years. Co-owned by David Pierce, the Lazy Pirate continues to grow with the island. Recently, they added a new volleyball court and crab shack to its venue. Pierce also opened the Carolina Beach Boatyard and Marina, where he's planning to add a marine consignment shop to the venue. The Burgall Area Chamber of Commerce winner is Revive Physical Therapy. The company specializes in outpatient orthopedic and neurological rehabilitation for clients of all ages and operates locations in Burgall and Wallace. Tony Pickford, its owner and operator, has been serving rural Pender County's physical therapy clinic needs for two years. Revive also conducts performance and wellness evaluations that cater to individual fitness and sports specific needs. <laughs> now we're going to uh, mix things up a little bit. I have uh, created three new awards this year, and we are just going to roll through them, and they will come and pick up the award. The idea behind the Opportunity Knox Award is for people who have followed through with the opportunities, the doors of opportunities that have, presented, have been presented to them. Next year's award will be for people who open doors for others. So this year, I would like to recognize Alex Vidor of SPS Solutions, Hugo Network. <laughs> Alex is still a student at UNCW at the Graduate School of the Cameron School of Business. He always um, fills in for me when I am on the road and there needs to be something said at a, at a local event. So thank you very much, Alex. <laughs> Another winner today is Sandra Bates. Sandra. <clears throat> so Sandra is new to the Wilmington area. She moved here a little bit more than a year ago from Austin, Texas, and she holds office hours at uh, the CIE to help entrepreneurs with marketing. Um, so today, Sandra is helping me because she is writing uh, a story about this event for the Raleigh Technology Newsletter called WRAL TechWire. So thank you, Sandra. Thank you for being a friend. Our 
last winner is Jasmine Capeza of Wired Wizards. Um, unfortunately, Jasmine is not here today. She is also a graduate student, but she has an internship in Raleigh and could not be here today. Um, Wired Wizards was actually probably our first tenant of the CIE. She helps high school students with robotics competitions. So please congratulate Jasmine. And now we'll go to the category, category award winners and let's meet our first winner. <laughs> 